Hey guys, and welcome back to Rooted Homeschool. If you are new here, I'm Christina. I am a homeschooling mom of five kids, ages one, two, five, 10, and 13. Today's video I'm super excited to share with you, and that is how to make math fun in your homeschool. Now, this is a topic that I am really excited about because admittedly, math and I have never gotten along. For as long as I can remember, I personally struggle with math. I am more of a words person than a numbers person, if I just be honest, even to this very day. And so it's really important to me to not pass on this sort of fear and loathing that comes along with math onto my children. And I feel like without making this like a super deep conversation, we tend to pass on like our ideas, our beliefs, and our attitudes onto our kids from the super deep important things even down to the less consequential things. And so math is one of those things that I did not want them to struggle with like I did. So I've really tried to be super intentional about finding ways to make math fun for them. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what we've been loving, what has been working for us, and all of those things. I set up a whole table of some of our favorite things. I'm gonna show you some close-ups and kind of explain how we use them and hopefully just give you some ideas for how to mix it up. So whether you are like me and you really don't like math or you feel like you're not equipped to teach math or maybe you really love math and you're just looking for some fun new ideas and different ways to mix it up, finding ways to blend math with other subjects that are possibly more enjoyable, to really just find ways to not only understand the concepts better, but enjoy it a little bit more in the process. Okay, so this is a spread of the most recent things that we've been using in our homeschool to make math fun, things that we've used this past year and what we've been doing with them. Um, and most of these are from my absolute favorite small shop, Thistles and Biscuits. If you've been watching at all lately, you've probably heard me mention them before. They're a homeschooling family and they have amazing resources, not just math manipulatives, but language, unit studies, country studies, all different flashcards for early learners. And really they have resources that I've been using all the way from my two-year-old all the way up to my 13-year-old. And I'll explain to you a little bit how I do that. So this is the most recent one that we did. This one is all about liquid measurement. And as you can see, I printed and laminated this stuff so that it lasts because I plan to use these for years to come. Here is just the capacity guide. So I will put it up on an easel for them when I use it. They do come with some kind of instructions and recommendations for how to use the manipulatives. And then I absolutely love these adorable watercolor painted jars and they are labeled gallon, quart, pint, and cup. We did this all with actual water. We did this actually last week and my kids absolutely loved the hands-on sensory experience to go along with learning these and reviewing them. So for my 10 year old, it was a bit more of a review and also some math to figure out like how you would create different amounts, how you could create a gallon from some of these other measurements. And for my five year old, it was all pretty new to her. So she had a blast with that. A couple of weeks ago, we did this um, weight scale with the kids and so if you notice this one that I have up on the easel is a two pound scale and basically obviously it doesn't weigh things but they will add it up and then they can move this so you could either do something like you set it to a certain amount and then have them figure out what things could go on there to match that up or they could pick any of these things put them on the scale and then add them up and change that. So there's a two pound scale, which I use more for my 13 year old to challenge him a little bit. And then the one pound scale, which more my 10 year old and five year old used. Again, here's the little explanation, a little bit of a letter and just some suggestions for how to use it. And all of these beautifully hand painted foods. 
labeled with how much they weigh and I didn't take them all out of the bags because there are quite a few of them and I've just broken them up within the bags based on the size. So the larger amounts I really had like sitting in front of my older son and then the medium amounts I had sitting in front of my middle son who's 10 and then the smallest amounts I had sitting in front of my five-year-old and she really had fun doing like simple addition and subtraction and then I obviously gave the boys a little bit more of a challenge and just let them play around with it and again some greater than less than and equal to and then I also pulled out the addition and subtraction symbols for them as well and I'll talk about this one in a second I want to talk to you about just the things from thistles and biscuits first and then I have a couple other um, resources that I will share with you that we've loved. This set right here, I think is probably, I don't know, they're all my favorite. I really love them all. But this really is amazing for a couple of reasons. So this is their Fractions with the Master set. And there are multiple of these. Um, there are Picasso and Monet and multiple other artists. And it is a classic piece of art. There's one that is just in its complete form that usually I would display just like you see. This one is from the Bilingual Butterfly Unit. So it's in English and Spanish, which I absolutely love. And so it exposes them to another language. It exposes them to art. So that kind of cross-curricular study that I feel works really, really well um, for me and my kids. I can't speak for all families, but we really love it. And then if you notice, it is in many configurations, halves, eighths, thirds, and then it also is labeled in Spanish for this particular set. Then it comes with all of the little fraction labels, and then it comes with the frames. So I printed out three so that each of my kids could have their own frame. And again, I use the easier ones like the halves and the thirds for my youngest and then the medium in the middle for my 10 year old and then the smallest ones for my 13 year old. And he actually said that it served as a great review for him and he really, really enjoyed it. Um, and again, these are all the little labels and then it also comes with all of the math symbols that you would need to multiply and add and subtract those to do less than and greater than. So this is so amazing. Um, and I don't have it always all by itself. So we also had like some butterfly poetry out and some language art stuff and flashcards and different things to make it really more of like a unit study feel that had some math components to it. This is another one that we did that really works the same way minus the bilingual aspect. So this one actually will give you a little bit more information about the artist so it was more of an artist study that included the math fractions component so we learned about Henry Asawa Tanner and then they showed one really popular piece of artwork from him and then this one which was the one that we do the fractions with and then there's that whole fraction set now each of them does come with all of those little fraction labels and symbols, but because I had already printed that out, I didn't print it again. I just didn't feel it was necessary because we already have it printed out. But this one was a lot of fun as well. They really loved this set. I think that was the first one that we did. This 10 frame and all of these little butterflies, um, these also came with the bilingual butterfly unit. And my five-year-old absolutely loved this because she's working on addition and subtraction. So she was able to use the 10 frame by itself. And then she was able to use the butterflies to do some addition and subtraction. So she really loved that as well. And what I love about these resources is not only do they work well, but they're absolutely beautiful. So that is all I have to show you from Thistles and Biscuits. But I just want to mention again that they have so many other not only math manipulatives, but all different subjects on their site. So make sure that you check them out. This next little set here um, that's all about money, this one I did with my five-year-old when my older two boys were doing a foundations and personal finance unit from DaveRamsey.com. And so if you haven't seen that video, the Do a Lesson With Us video for that, I'll link it down below. 
Um, but this is what I did with her because although I'm sure she would pick up some things, a lot of those concepts were more above her head because it was a middle school unit. Um, and this is what I did with her to introduce her to understanding money. These were all a free download that I found and I'll link that down below as well. She loved these and they also had some handouts um, you know that she was able to complete some graphs and some matching and things like that as well that came in this same little set and I also had out like a whole bunch of money from her piggy bank and then also a counting jar actually I'll show you that because this was another really great example we also used this along with it as well and this actually counts the money as you put it in so that was really fun for her lastly i wanted to show you the bird's nest math when we did the north american birds unit in the fall from gather on homeschool i found this again as a free principal and and my five-year-old absolutely loved this it was great even just for counting. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. I don't have it to show you, but we also had a fall leaves set that's very similar that she really loved as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspired you and gave you some ideas for how to make math more fun in your homeschool. Or even if you're not homeschooling, if your kids are home for the summer and you just wanna find some fun, hands-on learning activities to do with them. All of these things work well for that as well. So don't forget to check out Thistles and Biscuits. I'll link them down below. And there are tons of other resources out there. If you like this video, please click the like button. It's a free way to just support my channel and show me what videos you guys are enjoying and what content you're most interested in. If you are not already subscribed, I would love if you subscribe, you stick around. Click the notifications bell so you get an alert when a new video is coming out. Let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite things or your kids' favorite things for making math fun? I'm always looking for new ideas and I love the community that we have as homeschool moms and just as moms in general, that we can share ideas with one another, what's working, what's not working. If you're new here, introduce yourself in the comments below. I love to get to know you guys. I hope to see you all in my next video and until next time, stay rooted.